we're going to explain how to reset your AOC monitor. There are several ways to do this depending on what kind of reset you need. First, let's talk about a simple power cycle. One, unplug your AOC monitor from the power outlet. Two, wait about 30 seconds. This allows any residual power to fully dissipate. Three, plug the monitor back into the power outlet. Four, turn it on. This often resolves minor glitches and temporary software issues. If that doesn't work, we can try a factory reset. This will return your monitor's settings to their default values. The method for this varies slightly depending on your AOC monitor model, but generally, it involves accessing the on-screen display, OSD menu. Five, locate the menu button on your monitor. It's usually a small button on the bottom or side of the screen. Six, press the menu button to open the OSD menu. Seven, navigate the menu using the buttons on your monitor. The exact button layout and menu names vary by model, but look for options like reset, factory reset, default settings, or something similar. Eight, select the reset option and confirm your choice. The monitor might ask you to confirm again. Nine, once the reset is complete, your monitor will reboot and display the default settings. Please note that a factory reset will erase all your custom settings, including brightness, contrast, and color adjustments. If you're still having problems after trying these steps, you may want to check your monitor's user manual for more specific instructions. Your manual should have detailed information on troubleshooting and resetting. It's also possible that there's a more serious issue with your monitor, and in that case, you should contact AOC support or a qualified technician for assistance. Remember to carefully read the instructions on your monitor's OSD menu, and always be cautious when making changes to your monitor's settings. Lastly, if you're having trouble finding the menu button or navigating the OSD, a quick search online for your specific AOC monitor model number along with OSD menu should bring up some helpful resources, including images and videos showing you exactly where the buttons are and how to navigate.